Hello everyone. Uh, this video I will tell how to create a personal PDA in ServiceNow instance. So first we'll just go to developer.servicenow.com page. This is how we need to create an account, ServiceNow account. So once you are here, right side you can see sign in. So click the sign in. And here you we don't have any account created yet so you see there is one option like get a service now ID this is one you need to click it and just give your first name and last name and email ID and uh, give the country also because here it's i think any country can be selected but i am from this country i am selecting it password yes you need to give the password and remember because this password you use for your main page login going forward okay and i'm just confirming i'm not a robot uh, yes, bicycle, 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 bicycle. Right, very good. But, uh, okay, so verification is done and just click this one sign up. So once the registration is process is done, service now will send an email to your email id that you have been provided okay so it's created and it's saying like this and uh, check your email id to verify it so the email is valid for one day you can just till one day of time so i'm just checking right away i did not receive any mail Check your mail very very escape at site carriers at gmail.com. Yes, 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 yes. So let's wait. Yes, I think I got it one. Yeah, verify your service now email ID. Okay, you have one, one link here to verify it. So either you can click this one or you can click this one. So just click this one here, or I'll just click this one. Anything is fine. So you are redirecting and uh, it is confirmed. Yes, logging now. So the account that you just created is verified and you are able to log in with that. So yes, here give the right one. You can remember me, but I have opened an incognito not required, but in your personal browser, you just first time remember so that next time onwards, every time you no need to give your password. You can, yeah, I signed in. Okay. Once I sign in, I see the main page is loading with many options. This is not required now. Okay. Generally, this is our first page and it is going to create one, uh, <coughs> it is going to create one instance for us. So, carefully collect select this one so i want yes and say next and i will be a developer and i will be an administrator you can keep these two and then select it say finish once you say finish okay start building just click this one okay now the system is creating us one instance okay i think we need to wait for one or two minutes so that it will build one instance for us and then you get one more this particular option enabled so see here instance assignment is in progress okay it will take one or two minutes we need to wait yes so it took me exactly uh, four or five minutes to complete that process now the process is completed and i couldn't see start building option here so if i click start building option here it is taking ss4 and connecting directly to my instance so the instance is created with a separate id dev64306 servicenow.com and when we say start building okay 
you no need to pass these separate credentials. Generally, for this portal also, for this instance also, we will have separate ID password, but we no need to pass. The start building is an SSO, okay? And once it is ready, the system is also giving you the details of the details of your instance. So maybe you can save it for a safe site, so that in case in case you want to connect it, you can keep it. So, so this is how you create an instance, and you see the instance is loaded with few options that is giving like you can go with the Polaris view or next experience view and all. These and all optionals, you just go through it, click next, 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 and observe it. Okay, or you can just cancel it. Okay. But many learners, okay, I normally suggest like go not with Polaris view or new experience view, okay, because the all YouTube, all YouTube videos, all channels will complete the videos with general view, not Polaris view. So you may see navigator in a different way. So first time what you do is you just go to system properties, SYS properties dot list and it opens a page like this. Okay, and look for Polaris star dot Polaris. Okay, and here you have seen Glide UI Polaris experience. You just make this value half. You double click it so that it will enable it, and then say make it false F A L S E, and then save it. Okay, and just do this step, and once you come back and refresh it. The view will change to basic view where every video, every YouTube channel learning videos will be followed. So this view is convenient for first time learners. And if you are comfortable of going with the Polaris view also, that is your choice. But I suggest to go with this view. Okay, by offing the system property, UI Polaris experience false. Okay, so now I suggest to load this way so that I think it's still not done. So I'm just reloading it. I have the Polaris view. I'm logging from again from scratch. Yeah, so this is how it should be. And you are getting this kind of thing. Don't click anything, okay? And you can even say don't show it again next time, okay? So that every time you log in, it don't show. Sometimes accidentally you click it and then again the Polar Polaris view will load it for you, okay? So I expect this one you can keep it because this is a general navigation view where it is convenient to you for first time learning. Okay, this is one point. Now, when we are creating the instance for first time, generally people will get some weird behaviors like he see just to go here and then look for your profile. Here you see App Studio Engine profile. When you have App Studio Engine profile, you see the page in a different way. The first two dialog box where it asked you like IDE or development, if you just click IDE there, it, the role will automatically set you to App Engine, App Studio Engine. Okay. So in that case, if you are getting confused, okay, come here and then say uh, user role, change user role. Okay. I will show that option and then I will show again this option, then you will understand. So see, first suppose your instance is created like this with App Engine Studio role. The way it loads is different. I will show that. Okay, so it's done. I changed my role to App Engine Studio role. Okay, now if I load this instance, so I'm canceling it and I will load it now. So <coughs> if you load your instance with App Engine Studio, okay, the way you see the instance is different. Okay, here you see not system administrator but create user, creator user, and also the options that you see in the left side is completely different. Okay. For the people who want to learn service no course, this is not the one which you need to go for. You need to go for admin profile. Okay. So this is how you see and you get confused. Okay. Don't panic. If you see this page, you just come to the main page, go to this profile and change user role. The change user role will give you to select admin, select the admin and then change user role. Okay. And wait for that message, confirmation message. Once you are done with that, so you are now with admin role, okay? And if you already open the page, just close this page and come back to the main page, okay? Start building, click start building and now see the difference. You should see the profile is loading with admin and 
you should see all the options here and also you should see system administrator here this is very very confusing part for first time learners so please carefully do it and then make sure that in your profile you have user role equal to admin this is first important point second important point is many people wants to have different versions so right now i installed my i got my tokyo it automatically came so somehow maybe you want you like cubic you want to go or you want, you want to install cubic or rom okay once it is created is there any option to revert or go back to previous version yes you need to go and release instance if you say release instance the instance that is created will be deleted okay and after two minutes or three minutes you can ask if you here in the here in this place you see one option called request instance once you're done with release instance you see one option to request instance that time click that request instance that time you have a choice to select the versions whatever the versions you want to select select it and then request it but when you are releasing the instance let's say you you created this particular instance and you did some practice for 10 days 20 days and now you release it if you release it the instance that is there the image that is there that will be deleted all your work will be removed so be careful when you release it okay first time you do it okay you release it and then and there you can request for a new instance with a lower version okay if you already created it and you did so much of work and you don't want to miss that work then don't release it okay take this precaution and once you are done with this in the main page you have so many links okay link will connect to docs link will connect to uh, the other important like community and learning paths okay and service no connect so it's a big version of learning so you can el elaborate all these options here and then make best of this particular instance for your career and learning Thank you very much.